Machine duplication. Just one machine time on your partner. Let's attack on your side field. You can special. It's quite good. Oh! Hey! You're the Cyber Dragon guy, right? Right. And you have an extra father, but other than that, we have the same lineage, right? It's complicated, and you would have to watch my shitty Yu-Gi-Oh videos to understand, but yes. That's it. I'll leave you alone now. Okay. Opening up Rise of Destiny, Ancient Sanctuary 1, Flaming Eternity, and then we have five Lost Millennium to open. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do these last. I kind of want the one-offs to be opened up last. Let's just go ahead and you know what? Maybe we'll mix it up. I don't know. Let's see how I feel. Always left or right, though. Always left or right. We might do it this way. I don't know. Let's make it up as I go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Open. I'm leaving this in, I don't care. <laughs> Dude, like, I legit can't get that open, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> Dude, I can't get it open either! <laughs> I love these cards, they're just too powerful in the packs. They're... Maybe they've been sealed. <laughs> guys see these these packs still sealed they're still like too strong they're too strong to open oh my god <laughs> losing it all right Ooh, that was really good i haven't had that happen that's freaking funny okay back into it okay we have an elemental hero avion we have a minefield eruption all this first ed you guys we have an elemental hero spark man a rock bombardment Ooh. And we have a super rare ultimate insect level 7. Very cool. Super rare first ed, guys. Wow. I was hoping we'd pull some cool stuff, but like I didn't know we'd get one out of the first pack. Like that is tight. Medusa Worm, Lone Wolf, and Dummy Golem, as well as a Battery Man Double A. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Super rare. Oh my gosh. It was worth it was worth the work. It was worth the work, like going through that. Let's do one more Lost Millennium. I feel good after that. Let's see if this one will open now. Let's see if this will open. Ah, there we go. I was like, this one's gotta open easier. There's no way that they're all that hard to open. We have a Hita, the fire charmer. We have an elemental hero avian. We have level conversion lab with that um Gia Giga 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 that got that guy. And then we have the elemental hero burst into tricks, and then hey! A rare Kazaki self-destruct button first ed, so that's pretty cool. That is really, really, really cool. Matter of fact, we should probably separate our super rare from the last pack. And then we have a shifting shadows, lost guardian, grave lure, and then king of the skull servants. That's a really, really good common to pull, actually, because uh, skull servants, even in 2020, still around. That deck is still around in 2020. Get this guy up to like a billion attack or whatever. I think it maxes out like 18,000 or something. That's something stupid. But we're going to be doing a rise of destiny next. I think that two um, lost millennium was good to uh, start off with. Let's go harpies hunting ground. All right. All right. Elemental, element magician, I almost said elemental magician. Tactical espionage expert, expert, really good card, cool card. Harpy lady too. <laughs> you guys know, you guys know me and Cyber Dragons and we just pulled a first edition machine duplication ultimate rare only 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus and Master of Cyber Dragons could do this, guys. I was wondering. I wasn't going to jinx it or anything, but I was hoping that this is what we pulled. And that's centering because a lot of these machine dupes will be like miscut and stuff from this time. But this is like, it doesn't seem very miscut. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Matter of fact, Brady, will you sleeve that immediately? Like, holy crap. Yeah, that's awesome. Heavy mech support platform. Hey, a Bo Bokoichi, the frightening car, and invasion of flames, and a malice dispersion. Good comments for goats. Some of those are good comments for goats. Um, really cool stuff. I cannot believe we just pulled that. That is insane. That is just nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for that. I'm so, 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 so happy for that. All right, so. Oh my gosh, dude. These these Lost Millennium packs are something else to open. Seriously. They are something else. Go! There we go. There we go. You have to like pull the little like air area that opens up. That's the trick. And then we're going to strip it down like the back of a dress. Oh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Oh, for the ladies out there. <laughs> Rock Bombardment. We have Moai Interceptor Cannons. I usually open these by myself. It's fun having someone else in here. A Gift of the Martyr. Hita the Fire Charmer. And then, hey, a DD Survivor Rare. That is really cool. That's awesome. This is a very good card for Goats. Um, if you guys don't know, it's a really good uh, side deck card in Goats for Chaos um, because they can't banish this. They don't want to banish it because it comes back. And then, of course, you bait them into attacking into your Sakuretsu armors. Ideally, you play three of them or whatever. You're playing Beast. You know, stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, it's really good against chaos but um graveler we have when the wind charm when yeah when the wind charmer impenetrable formation and then a medusa worm all right pretty tight stuff pretty tight stuff okay let's do ancient sanctuary let's do ancient sanctuary and let's do lost millennium flaming eternity and we'll end on another lost millennium i think that's the way to go i think that's the way to go all right sword of the soul eater nubian guard Backfire, Three Hump Lakuta, Avatar of the Pots, rare. That's okay. That's okay. Blessings of the Nile. Actually, one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh arts of all time. It's definitely in top 100 for my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh arts. I like that classic Egyptian stuff that's got pyramids on it. All that's awesome. Good, good uh, nostalgic classic Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Fiend Scorpion, Legendary Jujitsu Master. Very, 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 very good. Um, uh, very good common. Uh, very good for goats. That, that's, that's. I call that a win actually. Even though we pulled the Avatar of the Pot, pot that's. Yeah, even though we pulled the avatar of the pot, I will call the jujitsu master a win. All right, let's see if we can open this. You gotta pull this little sliver out. There we go. <laughs> you see, these are legit. Like the Lost Millennium packs are way harder to open. They really are. All right, we have an. Oh, do we? I think we pulled a playset of this now. A playset of the OG Avians. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, so um, we have Elemental Hero Avian, Minefield Eruption, a Sparkman, Rock Bombardment. Mega Rock Dragon Super Rare First Ed. That is nice. That is awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. That is way cool. That's cool. I like that a lot. That's that's a win right there. Usa the Earth Charmer. Shifting Shadows. Lost Guardian. And then another Graveler. Actually, really cool art on this card as well. All right. Flaming Eternity. Although from these, like, these are usually scaled, so pulling foils from these guys, it's not bad, it's not bad. All right, so, fulfillment of the contract, flame ruler, insect knight, 1900 attack, good goblin housekeeping, meteor of destruction for the rare, threatening roar, space mambo, mecha dog marin, uh, actually pretty decent card for goats, and then a release restraint. All right, last pack, you guys. See if we can, uh, see if, yo, hold on. I have to like meticulously open up these <laughs> lots of Millennium packs. Like, holy crap, they, these are tough. It's like they're made out of like a thicker, the packs are made out of a thicker material or something. They're, they're harder to, to pull apart. But actually, I think they were back in the day, if I remember. I think there was a change around the time of Duelist Alliance, if I recall, but don't quote me on that. I could be off on the time frame where they actually did change the material the packs were made out of slightly or something like that. But moving on, last pack, guys. Moai, Interceptor Cannons, Gift of the Martyr, Hida, the Fire Charmer, Level Conversion Lab, and then, <laughs> Hyrakto Sphinx, Hyrakto Sphinx. There we have, wow, this card is really cool, guys. That's another classic Egyptian looking Yu-Gi-Oh card. That took me back. We actually pulled the first Ed Super Rare. That is insane. We pulled so many more foils than we were supposed to out of this. Like, this is just nuts. 
Wow. Higher Echo Sphinx. That was really cool. White Ninja, Grave Lure, Wind the Wind Charmer, and Impenetrable Formation. All right, guys, let's do a recap of the rares and foils, and then I will get out of your way. I mean, although I will call pull, pulling commons like that like a total win, but gosh, this is just, wow. Uh, this is the win for sure. All right, so for the recap, guys, for our rares, we have a Meteor of Destruction, DD Warrior, Avatar of that dank pot, and then we have, to, I'm not gonna use that take. <laughs> That's what that takes back. <laughs> for our rares, guys, we have Meteor of Destruction, DD Survivor, Avatar of the Pot, and we have Kazaki's Self Destruct Button. Really cool card. Would have been cooler to get the ulti one, but that is fine. We have Ultimate Insect Level 7. Very, very cool for the super rare. Hyracto Sphinx. I, I keep saying this wrong. Hyraco Sphinx. Hyraco Sphinx. Um, it's, it's just a really cool card, guys. These classic looking Egyptian cards, like, I just, I, I love them so much. This is, like, this is a huge win for me and then a uh, mega rock a dragon and then uh, those are our super rares guys and we pulled one ulti machine duplication first dead wow that is insane guys just nuts jesus powers mm. <laughs>